Hey guys, this is Doug from Carson, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to choose a telescope. Now there's many different types of telescopes out there, so it could get confusing as to which one is best for you. Today I'm going to go over the Red Planet series, and the two different types of telescopes that we carry, the reflector telescopes and refractor telescopes. I'm also going to go over the two different types of mounts that we carry as well. A refractor telescope is typically what comes to mind when people hear the word telescope. It has a long traditional tube with a decent sized aperture and the eyepiece is located on the back. These are very easy to use and durable as well. So if you're looking to travel, this is probably going to be the best one for you. With the reflector telescope, you're getting the highest amount of optical quality for your buck. If you're someone who plans on setting this up in your living room, not only does it look great, but the image quality is also unbeatable. The reflector telescope's tube is larger than a refractor telescope and also has a larger aperture as well. The bigger the aperture, the more light comes through and the better image you're going to get. What's really cool about the Red Planet series is that both the refractor and reflector telescopes have the ability to see into deep space. With these telescopes you can see the moons of Jupiter and the rings of Saturn. The most common types of telescope mounts are the Alt-As and Equatorial mounts. They both have their advantages to one another. What I have here is an Alt-As mount. An Alt-As mount moves your basic up, down, left, and right in motion. What's really cool about the Alt-As mount is its ability to quickly locate an object in the sky. All you really need to do is turn and point the telescope towards the object and you're good to go. This makes it very good for a beginner and very easy to use. A more advanced and precise type of mount is the equatorial mount. An equatorial mount follows the rotation of the Earth and only requires you to move one axis to track something in the sky. What I really like about the equatorial mount is the way that it's made. For example, if a car drives by while you're using it, because it's sturdy, it's going to reduce that vibration and allow you to keep track of your object in the sky. This is available on our RP300 and RP400 models. All of our Red Planet telescopes have the ability to give you a great deep space image, but what matters most is finding the telescope and mount that works best for you. In the future, we're going to be making a video for each model, breaking down the specifics, and telling you how to put them together. I'm Doug from Carson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.